Why, hello there, everyone. Welcome back to more Super Robot Wars 30 gameplay. On the last video, I did the Getter Robo mission, and now these are the ones available to us right now. And so I am saving the key missions with the stars for last because I don't know if doing these would potentially lock some of these other optional missions away. So I'm doing all the optional ones first. And so, I know, I'm pretty confident that we're not going to get any units from the DLC missions, right? And I'm trying to prioritize getting units right now. Um, so, aside from the key missions, I'm deprioritizing the DLC missions. Uh, and then there's the Galgaigar one, but I'm trying to put off that one as well, because I want to get more caught up on the anime, at least as much as possible, uh, before I do this one, which would leave... This one, Hero and Enemy, which is another Ray Earth mission, and then Thalen Bummer, which is another Majestic Prince mission. I don't think we're going to get any units from either of these. Uh, however, we just recently did a Ray Earth mission, and even though we have done a Majestic Prince mission already, uh, it was less recent than the Ray Earth mission. So I think this is the one I want to do next. Yes. So we have to bring Izuru and Asagi and K, even though I haven't really been using them lately. Eep. Hmm. What will the inciting incident be? Unless this whole mission is literally just training stuff. I feel like something is going to happen, though. Saruga is going to be so overpowered compared to them because <laughs> I've been using him, but not the other ones. And I've upgraded him. I thought that said bruh for a second. <laughs> Does anybody know if MC over here has an actual canonical name? And if so, what is it? Because if I had known that, and if I had known what it was, I would have definitely named him that. Because it's so weird naming this character after yourself when it doesn't necessarily reflect you more so than any of the other characters. It's more so like he's just another character, right? Along with the other one. So it's so weird seeing my name on here.
wonder if that asteroid there is actual cover. I remember there being actual talking, thinking, like roughly human intelligence level aliens as the antagonist in this show. It's been a long time. I watched Majestic Prince back when it first aired, but I do remember there being human looking and talking enemies. So I'm wondering if any of them are going to show up, if any of those uh, guys are going to show up for these uh, Majestic Prince subplots and these missions. Imagine disregarding everything Azuru said and deliberately doing the opposite and still somehow winning. Uh, purple 2 is K's, right? Not Asagi's. Asagi's is more blue. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, um... That's not actual cover. Okay, so... Do I... Okay, I don't remember if I stripped Asagi of his stuff since I started to not use him. Since I stopped using him. Is... Uh, yeah, I took the power parts off. Uh, he still has some upgrades, though, I think. Okay, you go out there. Don't really have to worry about these small fry hitting me too much. Oh, we still have the Getter Robo music. I need to change that. Can I pause it during dialogue? No. It'll actually be kind of nice putting on the Majestic Prince music. Because, uh, the last times I was listening to it, the last time I was hearing it, in this game was when it was just set to individual units and it's always weird having it just kick in for an individual unit and then stopping because it kind of has a slow start and you have to get into it so when it was just on individual units it was like as soon as you got into it the song changed like right when it was getting to the good part uh so let me change it uh Squad. Change squad music. Uh, Majestic Prince. There you are. Um... Oh, can't reach. I can sort of use this corner as a wall of sorts. Hmm. Still think that's worth it. Nothing to see here. I'm letting this play once. That's all you guys get.
Almost like I was tripping plot flags. That was a weird way to phrase that. I had to think about that sentence for a moment. Nice crit. That weapon is so weird. Only 52. Why is that so bad? Oton rifle. Eh, just evade that. Oh, he must have gotten a crit there. Still kind of bad. Did he get a crit too? Oh, no, 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 he's still there. It's gray. Wait, does that mean the other one didn't disappear either? It just seemed like it disappeared when it turned dark gray on a black space background. Um. <laughs> okay, so who's low? Yeah, like, he wouldn't have gotten a crit, obviously, because I set him to not even attack, duh. Okay. Anyone can finish you off. Someone can finish you off. Sixty-eight. Seventy-six. You have to go with the seventy-six. You have to go with the seventy-six. Okay, um, I won't finish him off. Fifty-nine. Why is my accuracy so bad? This music is super nostalgic, though. Which sounds kind of weird saying, because this isn't even an old anime. Um, okay, so I can have him do his morale buff, and I can now do the snipe attack. Which can one-shot the healthy units. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use one of these here. Because I don't want them getting to my backline and hurting K or Saruga. His mouth. I don't think I got that portrait before. <laughs> if I did, I never noticed it. Um, I would like to move him forward a bit. Uh, I don't want them getting to the back line easily, though. I 
120. The Photon Rifle has a big range. I only need it yet, though. Um... These aren't good stats. But it seems as if that's the case every time here, so I'm going to have to roll some of them. Now that better not hit me. By whiffed. Good. Um... Could run up and finish that one off. Nizuru. That won't kill. This could. Crits, anyway. Hey, wait, didn't I say you guys only get one of those? I wanted to watch it to see if it would hit. Um... Yeah, that thing can't even reach that far. Um, and a turn. Eh. I'll use Photon Rifle. I'll see if that hit once it's my turn. Been so long since I've seen missile over charge. Yes. Huh? I wonder if... <laughs> I wonder if he still would have said that at this point if we had units die or something. Oh yeah, okay, so yeah, those are the enemies I was talking about. Uh... Are you an idiot? We're getting more Majestic Prince units? That is unexpected. The B team? I vaguely remember these guys. Maybe Team Rabbits is the B team. I 
I was not expecting more Majestic Prince units. That is a surprise. Um, hold on. Select, oh, we can't select ships. We're not getting ships this time. Oh, we only get eight. Okay. Um, we're definitely going to have to start making cuts. Um, we need Wyndham and Coney for the heals. Those are always going to be staples, I'm pretty sure. Amro and Camille, because they're the main guys. So is Char. Uh, Yona. Two more. Mmm. Gal Guy go. For the tank. Bosinger is a big tank, too. Even though Getter Robo is super cool, I do like Mozinger a bit more than Getter Robo. So I'd pick Mozinger over Getter. Yeah! Okay, so. Stop moving! Um, so we have the three new guys over here. I'm really curious to see what the attack animations look like for them. Uh. Since it's been so long since I've seen the show. And we have a boss... Down here, right? Yeah, there's the boss. That's also a bigger unit. So we probably need to have someone working their way over here. To uh, fight the boss. We can have... Y'all got go sort of pin them down over here. Um... Char can pseudo tank, and he has extra movement, so maybe we could put him over here. Well, there really aren't that many units over here, but still, I can put him kind of in midfield, since he can move around a bunch. Like, if I ever move him out somewhere, I can have him move back to the boss fight. Um, Mozinger in the front as well. Um, Mozinger here, because Mozinger should, like, go out more here, whereas Galgago will go down more. Uh, I need to give Yona the space parts. Can I still change that? I don't know. Might be too late for that. Who did I just backspace on, Camille? Maybe after I hit confirm members to sortie, I can change it. I remember I was able to change it, like, at the start before. Put Camille with uh, Char for obvious reasons. Uh, Amra with him too. Okay, that comp's good. Or up. Uh, formation? Is there a shorter word for formation? Um. Okay. Option parts. Yeah, we can still change it. B packs, none. Yeah, that gives us S in space. Nice. It's been a while since we've looked at this, too. Oh, maybe it's one unit, but when they do an attack, it's like a team attack. I think that would probably make more sense, because we're already having to make so many cuts on the team. That would be kind of excess if we had three of these guys. So in this way, we can use one, but we're still having all three story-wise, you know, with the, with the animations and everything. Chad face. Okay. Okay, what is this unit like? Oh wow, we're already getting attacked. Um, yeah, Doberman formation, so that's the whole team. So it's the whole team in one unit. That's actually cool. I really like that. I like, I, like, I always like 
teams as a single unit, like uh, like duos in a fighting game, like sort of like a tag character, tag team characters, stuff like that. Uh, Twin Claymore, 76. Railgun, 72. Yeah, let's just go with the highest uh, chance to hit. Plus, we have to see the animation with all of them. Might as well do it now. Froshies? I like how by us naming the team this, he is now using incorrect grammar by improperly conjugating this. <laughs> Nuki types are packed with all kinds. Oh, that's a pretty cool design. It has extra arms. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, this is a really nice surprise. I was not expecting more Majestic Prince units. Oh, that's a cool final shot with the whole team. This is kind of making me want to at least rewatch certain scenes from the show. Just to sort of remind myself. Um, you're bound to hit one of these eventually, right? Why are you wasting photon rifle ammo, though? Honestly, because this unit is 3-in-1, I would kind of prefer to take Team Doberman over someone like Azuru or Asagi. Just in terms of, uh, fun factor. Okay, so that's a big unit starting to head up here. The boss is staying down there, though. We're going to have Mazinger head out. He can attack from that far away. Oh yeah, Great Typhoon has 5 range. I need to keep an eye on his energy, though. Oh, I did give him a, uh... Did I give it to him or Gao Guy Go? Maybe I can't use it until I've actually used up some energy, but either Gao Guy Go or Mazinger, I gave them a part that allows you to refill your energy because both of these guys chug energy. For some reason, I don't see a parts tab, so I'm thinking maybe you can't do it until you've actually used your energy, so I'll just check after I've used them a few times. That's a lot of energy. I just do Mazinger Blade then. Hmm. Quick. Barely whiffed. Lame. At least I have their aggro, probably. Uh, Gal Guy Go start moving out there as well. Um, I could just move down and attack that and then start working towards the boss, but I don't want him to necessarily necessarily be that far away from the action. I can just have someone with high movement go down there like Yona. When did I get high Mega Cannon? Is that a new thing? Oh, no, 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 I forgot. His moves are different when you're in the, uh, space parts. That's it. Because I remember Incom was new when I put B parts on. Yeah, 
It's really cool how Narrative Gundam is basically two separate characters in this, right? Because not only does he have the two different modes with the different parts, but they had to give him completely different animations for each. Okay, so he's slowed down, so he won't be able to move up as easily. Super low. You can finish off any of these, I think. Let's do that one so we don't have to go down anymore. Wow! That RNG. Um... Start moving again. Okay, can K shoot any of those? She can. Not those, she can shoot this one. Um, roll it. Wow, she whiffed. Hmm. Okay, so... Pretty much anyone can finish off these two, so that would use up two units. And then I'd have one, two, three left over. And there are three. Oh, actually, they're all kind of low. Okay, so I should have exactly enough to finish everyone off, assuming things hit. Which is not a guarantee yet. So you can reach one of these two. You can reach uh, anyone. C8. That's what I just looked at. D4. 58. Okay, that hit. Um... She has good movement, so she can do the one out here since she can come back in later. Wait, I thought she could move down here. I guess not. It means a soggy has to do that one. Which is kind of weird because I wanted him to kind of stay in here since he's a tank, sort of. Seventy-nine. Twenty-one. Okay, um, what are his stats? 1500 armor, okay mobility in sight, 1500 armor, okay, so I guess he's just another all-arounder. 66 SP, 71 SP, okay, so we can pseudo-tank. 100% accuracy is pretty good. All adjacent allies plus 10 morale. That's actually really good. I'm not even kidding. That's actually... That actually seems really good. I'm not, uh... That means literally... At the start of missions, you can just start him in the middle and immediately give everyone a whole bunch of morale. Uh, all adjacent allies. So that would be, uh... Eight, right? So, like, one on each cardinal direction plus the in-betweens. Four and four. Assuming it would count those. Uh, that's really good. So, I've actually... Just from seeing that, I'm seriously considering using him now. Uh, so he's really a support. You attack that one. Hep cannon. That's bad accuracy. Happens if you're right by it. 
That's a little better. I actually really like this animation, and we haven't seen it yet on this video, so let's let it rock, assuming it hits. Would it show all of this if it whiffs? I, I guess it could. Okay, good. What would that look like if it misses? That musical timing. Yeah, I'd like to get him in the middle of the- like, having to get him in the middle of a group and activate this mid-mission is going to be kind of awkward if I want to do that. But like I said, the main way you would use that is using it at the start, because the morale doesn't decay, I'm pretty sure. So, literally, the best way to use that would be to just give everyone a bunch of morale at the start. Put people around him that would have the most use for it. Okay, so we saw a Doberman formation. We can't move and do that, though. When Claymore needs a certain range. Let's see this just because we haven't seen this one yet. Okay. Um, these guys are kind of tanky, the, uh, the big chonky ones. Tars start working his way down there. So this one doesn't have any kind of movement buffs, right? Oh, wait, no, Accelerate. Wait, since when did it have that? I think I might have gotten that recently, because I remember only the Rock High Loom having that. Oh, hey, this ship has a trust as well. I was sleeping on that. I wasn't checking the other, uh, staff. Do I get to choose who to analyze if I do this, or is it just the next unit I attack? If it's the former, that would be pretty good. These are expensive. These are kind of luxury ones, though. These two. Accelerate. Uh, support Camille. He needs it more than Char. Uh, Kony and Wyndham just stay in the back. Just back up. You're just here to look pretty and eat hot chip and heal us. Um, and turn. That's a long range, and it has a 0% chance to hit. Why would they even go for that if it's zero? Um... We have three enemies over here. Okay, I'm, I'm glad the Stingray-looking thing is going over here. The boss started to move as well. Okay. Um, we still need to look at Railgun. So let's see if we can set it up to use that one this turn. Hmm, has a 100% chance to counter hit, though. Unless we can use, uh... We could do that. Although, we don't really need the accuracy. I just don't know how much it'll hurt. Yeah, I'll let Yona finish that one off for the credits. 
going to do this just so I... Well, I don't know. We only have 25 SP, so maybe I should save it for something else. This might be better, right? Because it might not be doing much damage. And in that case, we would be doing more. Let's try this. Plus, I am... Yeah, okay, I was curious anyway to see if you could choose the unit, and you can. That was for science. See how much this does in counter hit. It did about, uh, maybe more than a quarter, but not quite a third. Oh, that's nothing. Yeah, so I'm glad we just mitigated the damage of that instead of wasting a whole evade. Okay, you want to finish him off? Soul pod, 77. 82. 87. Now I've got to go. Start. Well, I could have him hold this thing off, or I could have him go down more to the boss, but I think the boss still has to move up one more turn anyway. Good crit. It just didn't do anything? I really need to figure out what's proccing that. Not complaining though, obviously. Hey, I wonder if you can finish that off. Railgun. It is guaranteed a hit. Maybe I can weaken it a bit with something else first. Need to worry about these guys too. Um... Okay. Between these... four... Can I take out these three? I don't think so. 86. So maybe... Ninety-six. Wait, which one's stronger? I do that. Um... Be better... Okay, wait, I can still have her move up and shoot someone, right? Oh no, she can't move and attack on the same turn. Have Tamaki go down there. He's getting a lot of EX. Uh, I don't know how she ended up with so much compared to everyone else. Um, you do the first hit since he can't counter attack. Move. Hmm. I could just do that to- uh, that has a bad accuracy. Um, well, I'm gonna start moving down here, though. Oh, I can't do that that close. It's a little better accuracy. Nice. 
Um, so it's just that guy over here now. I can have these units deal with him next turn. It shouldn't be that big of a deal. Mm, how do I want to deal with these? Uh, use Yona already. I could have him hit this with Railgun for sure. But I would need another unit to hit it or finish it off. So that's already two units. So then for these two, I'd have uh, five. Get the accuracy on that to be a bit better. Hit you attack sequence yet. 76. I love the sound effect of the beam rifle from Gundam. So recognizable. Oh, by the way, uh, speaking of Amuro, apparently yesterday was Amuro's canonical birthday, and today was Tomino's birthday. So I thought it was kind of interesting that Tomino made Amuro's birthday a day before his. Um, or at least, uh, at least relative to me, uh, the day of recording this, because you might be watching this, you know, later, because I'm going to post this at later anyway. Um, I start moving down there. Didn't really do enough. Yeah, these guys are tanky. But we can finish this one off this turn, so we should probably make an effort to do that. You do that. You use the rail gun. Okay, let's see what this is. Like the little camera spin that it did. He's upside down! Relative to our camera, because there's no upside down in space. Haha, <laughs> that was a trick statement. Now let's just focus on one of these guys. Thunder break. That's the one it took me forever to get enough energy to use, right? 6,000. That's not a waste on these guys, though. They are tanky, and this would shoot down. That's the only thing that would shoot down. If I'm going to do that, though, I do not want it to miss, because that's a lot of energy. Yeah, let's do this, then. Let it rip, since it took so long to save up the energy for it the last time. It has a way different feel doing it in space with the dark backdrop. Still waiting on that boomerang attack, though. Um. Dang, it's a good range. Oh wow, maybe we can finish it off in this turn. I was not expecting that. Coney, you do the honors. And only 63. Maybe it's worth doing this. Not that. Uh, this? I would say maybe it's worth doing this here to make sure, you know, we don't get hit by a guy that's super low anyway. There's opportunity cost, though, when it comes to using SP on a unit with trust. I think it's still worth it, though. 
Oh, I never checked Beam Saber. That's 99%. 100%. Flip the 100. Imagine if we did the 99% instead of 100 and then it whiffed. Haven't gotten any super bad RNG like that yet, but I know it's bound to happen eventually, so I just have to be ready for it. My only critique of this game so far is that I wish there were more varied mission types, as in mission objectives, and uh, more varied terrain with, like, actual, like, buildings and cover and stuff. But maybe it's coming, right? Because I'm still pretty early in the game, all things considered. But everything else about the game has been really, really good, right? Um... I forgot I saw it as Zuru. Just move down here, I guess? So it's just the boss and that guy, right? Another pretty easy mission. Attacking the Mark II. Mmm, 43%. Five. Sixty. Seventy. Mmm, yeah, do that. Lower his movement. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Obligatory laughs and nods pretending to know what he meant. Was it meant to hurt you? It was meant to slow you down. Nani tries to move his feet, realizes he's moving slower somehow. I don't really know how a Vulcan's supposed to slow them down. I I kind of just assume... The way I rationalize it is I kind of assume you just kind of spray and pray it. And so it's kind of like cover fire. Um... Okay, so you can hit the boss. He can counterattack from that far away. What the heck is his range? Whoops. Maybe it doesn't matter that I slowed him down. Seven. Okay, yeah, so he does have a sniper attack. Uh, let's just get rid of this guy first. So, 63, 53. Hmm. Um, so are you, maybe he can finish it off. Yes. How come Asagi has such better accuracy here than uh, MC? I don't know if I can move and use the wing zero attack. Oh, I'm in range anyway. That is terrible accuracy. What about... Yeah, let's do that. Quick. The hitbox? I don't even know if you would call it a hitbox, but like... The detection radius of some of these menu things it seems strangely small based on the visual size. I'm thinking that... Uh... Does anybody know if this is the first PC version of a Super Robot Wars games game? Because whenever I uh, see and hear people talk about and show off uh, older Super Robot Wars games, it's always them importing, like, the Switch version, for example, right? Or the PS4 version. So... I wouldn't be surprised if this is the first... I don't, even, I don't even know why I'm watching that, if I know it won't hit. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if this is the first PC version, because for some reason, even though these kinds of tactics games are usually really good on keyboard, it feels as if it was made with controller inputs in mind first and foremost, and then afterwards they sort of retroactively added mouse and keyboard 
controls. Uh, because some of this menu navigation is a little uh, obtuse. Not bad, but just like, could be streamlined more. Um, actually, staying there is okay. Okay, so... Basically, who do we want to get the XP? I mean, I could have Yona do it and get the money. Uh, might be more thematic if I let... Uh, Team Doberin do it. Out of range for that. How much more damage is it? 43? Yeah, okay, so it is worth doing. Getting in closer and doing. I might be able to finish it off this turn, though. In which case, let's save him. Let's do this. Should have done that at the start. Um... Who cares if this hits me? The thing is, I remember in Majestic Prince there being, like, a sort of council of these guys. So if we're just fighting Klein here, or however you say his name, then I'm wondering if we're going to have another Majestic Prince mission for each of the main antagonists. In which case, that might actually be a lot. Uh, more than I was expecting. Um... Hunter Break, 61... Seventy-five. Oh, does closeness change anything? It does, okay, because Breastburn was 61% for over there, right? And now closer at 70. So distance does matter. That was something I was wondering before. Um 80. Oh, he can't counterattack. I guess it's because we're act we're kind of maybe it's because we're exploiting the whole ganged up on mechanic. 75. Wait, what? Uh this was 80, right? I do that. Wow! Dodge the 80. Okay. Let's see if Doberman can finish him off now. Not yet. Is there anything I can do to buff my attack? No, okay. Yeah, so let's hit him with something else. Amaro could probably finish him off with, uh... That sequence if I went for it. Oh, not. Okay, let's go for it then. Prioritizing the commander. He's the only one left, Amaro. Okay, now finish him off. Cinematic finisher. I'm thinking the thumbnail candidates are either that final shot with all three of them together, or uh, the final close-up with the anime proportions when he's about to fire the rifle. 
Obviously, though, if you're watching this video, you'll already know what the thumbnail is. Secrets out. kind of funny is all four of the Team Rabbits members are basically walking tropes. I do remember liking the show a lot, even though I also remember uh, realizing, uh, recognizing that the main cast were pretty much all super tropey, right? It's funny is, at least just based on the dialogue in Super Robot Wars 30, Randy here actually has more characterization than all of the Team Rabbits members put together, which is pretty funny since he's not even a main character. I just realized Randy's giving off big, uh, what was his name? Like, Roy Fokker archetype vibes. And uh, the guy from Gundam, was it... It was something Slegger. Slegger Law. I think I remember a gag like this in the show as well. I think that's what they're basing this on. Power part. <laughs> the private disc is a power part. Let me see what it does. Hold on, I'm not going anywhere yet. Let me see what it does. Boost morale or something? I mean, what could they have it do effectively, really? Um. It's so weird how they put power parts in formation. I'm always lost. Like, I always have to think about where that is. Uh. 
rhinos. That's what the mechs are called. Oh, he has three slots. Cool. Um, <laughs> it only works on male pilots. <laughs> Plus 20 max morale. Plus two morale per turn to main pilot. That's pretty good. Uh... I don't know if anybody would really need higher max morale yet, right? Because it's not as if I have many moves that require a lot. I'm going to have to look at my units and see who is the most morale hungry, and then I'll give it to them. Uh, so anyways, thanks for watching, everyone, and I will see you in the next video. So bye for now.